Okay, to start with, I'm using a 10x10 AquaQuest Guide Series tarp. Um, I've already set this shelter up. I've never used this shelter before, so it was kind of weird getting it set up, but I think I got it. So let me show you where I have it staked out and how to insert the trekking poles to make a pretty decent shelter. Okay, to start with, when I first set this shelter up, I started with a peg in the back on each corner. And when I got the front set up, it was way too deep and I didn't need all that. So what I did was I took this here and folded it up to the second loop on my tarp. I left the stakes in the ground, so. Okay, so I moved it up to the second loop, which is, which is good because it leaves you some tarp in the back of your shelter for your gear or whatever so you don't get anything wet probably enough to even put your sleeping bag on so i hooked it on the second loop up from the corner and uh, that seemed to work out okay Just tuck that under make sure it's nice and tight across and now we'll move to the front okay so now that we have the back staked out we're going to stake out the front corner and we're going to move those in just a little bit and that's because when you pull up the shelter it'll pull the sides in so i moved them over just slightly and stake that corner out and this corner out so when you set up the trekking pole Now I only have one on here because I want to show you how to set up the other trekking pole. The tension will hold it. So let me move the camera a little closer and I'll show you how to set up the trekking pole. Okay, so I had to adjust this a few times to get the right height on this. It still may be a little high, but I'm thinking summertime and get some breeze under the sides here. So on this trekking pole, a lot of trekking poles have interchangeable bottoms, different styles. But to get this to go through the loop, I had to remove it, put it inside the loop, and it will slide all the way down to your next tension point on your pole. Put the cap back on, and you pull that up just like that. So the tension is going to hold this it's really sturdy i mean look at that so let me move the camera here make sure you can see that i have on the bottom edges here it's up just a little bit off the ground which is good in the summertime get some breeze in there so in the back i have to go inside pull that tarp forward and get that all laid out but it looks like a really decent shelter, especially tension wise, as far as not having to tie anything out. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna crawl in there and pull that tarp out. See how much room we have. Whether it's enough room for a sleeping bag or whatever. No, I don't think there's enough room for a sleeping bag, but you could definitely put your gear there and sleep in front of it. So let me get the camera down a little bit so you can see all of inside. I'm not sure, maybe you can't see all of inside right there. So quick and easy, I can do this probably in five minutes on the river. So it's not a bad shelter. And that's basically it. You could get a, a small pole if you wanted another one and put it down here to push it up a little in the back to give you a little more room, but that's plenty of room. All right, that is the trekking pole shelter.